The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. About people remaining virgins, I have no directions from the Lord, but I give my own opinion as a person who has been granted the Lord's mercy to be faithful. Well then, because of the stress which is weighing upon us, the right thing seems to be this. It is good for people to stay as they are. If you are joined to a wife, do not seek to be released. If you are freed of a wife, do not look for a wife. However, if you do get married, this is not a sin, and it is not sinful for a virgin to enter upon marriage. But such people will have the hardships consequent on human nature, and I would like you to be without that. What I mean, brothers, is that the time has become limited. And from now on, those who have spouses should live as though they had none, and those who mourn as though they were not mourning, those who enjoy life as though they did not enjoy it, those who have been buying property as though they had no possessions, and those who are involved with the world as though they were people not engrossed in it. Because this world as we know it is passing away. In our response, is taken from Psalm 45. Then the king will fall in love with your beauty. He is your Lord. Bow down before him. The daughter of Tyre will court your favor with gifts. And the richest of peoples in brocade, the king's daughter is led within to the king with the maidens of her retinue. Her companions are brought to her. They enter the king's palace with joy and rejoicing. Instead of your ancestors, you will have sons. You will make them rulers over the whole world. I will make your name endure from generation to generation. So nations will sing your praise forever and ever. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Then fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, how blessed are you who are poor. The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry now, you shall have your fill. Blessed are you who are weeping now, you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy. Look your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have plenty to eat now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who are laughing now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when everyone speaks well of you, this was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord.